Member statement. The Honourable Member from Tyne Valley, Sherbrooke, and the Opposition Whip. Earlier this month, on April 12th, Canada recognized Equal Pay Day to raise awareness for the gender pay gap. The timing of this day symbolizes how far into the new year the average woman must work in addition to the previous year to have earned what the average man had earned the entire previous year alone. The concept of equal pay for equal work has been the law in PEI for decades through the Human Rights Act, which prohibits discrimination in pay. However, despite these protections, island women and other demographics continue to receive compensation that in many cases is less than that of men. This is why last sitting I brought forward and passed amendments to the Employment Standards Act to include pay transparency measures that will further support pay equality. These amendments include making hiring practices more fair and transparent for workers by including a salary range in all job postings new protections for workers who choose to discuss pay within their workplaces, and discouraging the continuation of discriminatory pay practices by prohibiting employers from asking prospective employees about their past pay. These new measures come into effect on June 1st and will promote greater fairness in pay for all workers. I am proud to be part of a legislative assembly where all members voted in favor of these pay transparency amendments acknowledging that making our workplaces fair and free from discrimination is critical to the well-being of Islanders, our communities, and our economy. PEI can lead the way by building an economy where workers can live healthy and well and small businesses can thrive with workplaces that are free from discrimination and fair for all. As we continue to plan for the future and work to build back better, it is essential that fairness and the well-being of all workers be at the forefront. I sincerely hope that this perspective will carry through and that members of this government and this Legislative Assembly will continue to hold this perspective moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.